question. Here, yeah. we'll go throw it up there. Should Oof. you level match all your speakers? Yes. I think that, you know, in a home theater setting, you know, that's what we're looking at. You know, when you run Odyssey, Odyssey does its best to try to wipe <laughs> out does its or, best. <laughs> uh, you know, wipe out and all the other ones yeah. direct. They try to level match each speaker. So I guess my question is, should you level match all of them? Like, is it ideal to, say, take an SPL meter after Odyssey, after Dirac, and physically measure each speaker? And if they're not the exact same volume, to balance them? What do you guys think? Would you okay. take a Dolby de disc and um, level match with their test zones or sure. just whether, built, whether, built you, whether you do that or whether you do just the built in? My, my main question is, should they all be exactly the same level? Yeah, but so you, you, gonna be, it's only going to be for one primary seat. They're going to be all different on right. every other yeah, seat. Right. So, yeah, you're going to have to pick that primary seat. And, but I would I would level match them. Yeah. All all 15 you have them all identical. High channels, surround channels. I would I'd pick a band pass. I mean, not subwoofers because they get their own region, but I would think that in order to get, I mean, because you're talking about, okay, so if you got all these speakers and they're playing different volumes or different output levels and you're sitting in the center, then you may get cues from one speaker sooner than another. It's that same stereo effect. That's the same reason you set time alignment. You don't set just time alignment. You do time alignment and levels because that puts you in the center of that sound stage or puts the center of the sound stage in front of you, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would, I would level match them all, but they, that's only for one sweet spot, right? Because mm -hmm. as soon as you step over to the, another seat or any other seat, it's all thrown off. Well, but then, you know, this, I mean, when you measure, is, you're doing that for one seat. You physically can't measure for six seats. Right. No, there's no way. So, so, we're, okay. we're, so are we just saying it's for one seat, only your seat? Yeah. Seat, I mean, right? I mean, you've got, I mean, that's all that matters minutes. really. Like everybody else can go. I mean, that's really all that you can fly a kite for anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you physically can't take the microphone and put it in all six of your theater seats because it's going to be all screwed up by then. Right. You know, well, you've got to keep thing, that though, microphone within. Shouldn't, what? shouldn't like Odyssey or whatever take care of all of that for you? I mean, ideally, yeah, it, right? It tries. It just well, doesn't I mean, make the job. Not always perfect. Sometimes like your question, the, like length measurements are a little off too. You yeah, know, if you sit there with the laser off. pointer thing at your ear level, you know, um, yeah. you can get a little bit more accurate. Right, right. So some I like when I so you know just to like see what everybody else had, I had a you know, uh, you know an Ankyo, a Yamaha, um, a Sony AVR in here, and some of them would just get the measurements like wrong. Like I'm like, dude, that's like a foot off. What are you talking about? <laughs> so like that's great. I, I would go back in and just check. I mean, like, a, where's my? Oh, it's upstairs. It's just a little you know electronic laser pointer measuring you know yeah. doohickey. You yeah. know, twenty bucks. Yep. Actually, I that actually came in handy when I was wiring up this whole room. Like, how many feet cable do I need for all eleven speakers in this room? You yeah. Know, especially like these uh, surround backs. Oh, sorry, not surround backs. The uh, the rear heights. Like, how all the way around? You know. Yeah. Those things are handy. I use mine all oh. the time, man. I love that thing. Twenty like, bucks. Uh, on mine. Thank you, Chris Windham, for the super chat. Yeah. Yeah. What? Just, yeah, John Wick has some cra Wick. some crazy bass that uh, shotgun scene, right? You know, I you know a lot of that is coming out of the, like the center channel. You know, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the gunshots in that movie, like uh, a lot of people say, like you know, the center channel is just for dialogue, but it really is more than that. It's everything mm -hmm. that's on screen, mm -hmm. everything that's happening right in front of you. What I would say also to the level matching of all speakers. So, uh, Chana, you mentioned that sometimes the distance is off, so that's a little bit different. But the distance, I think, it's the acoustic distance, right? So it's yeah. not the actual physical distance. Well, I mean, and sometimes for, for the, the subs will be way sure. off. Yeah, the sub was yes. Yeah. I'm not talking about the subs. I'm like the left, center, and right are usually all like about 0. 0.3 off of each other because mm -hmm. it's like at an angle. But one of them was like a full foot and a half off, and I'm like, okay, that's like that's like wrong. Yeah. yeah. That says yeah. either the gain and the amplifier is wrong, like the power that it's sending to one of those speakers is wrong, or the sensitivity of one of those speakers. One of those speakers is broken. That's one. Yeah, of those. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or like something happened. Wow. You know, my wife was like running the water, or something dropped, or something while yeah. the test yeah. thing yeah. was going on, and you somebody know, sneezed. 
Yeah, or my dog started barking or something. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? That's and that's that's the problem, you know, in a living room situation. Whereas you guys with the dedicated spaces, it's a lot easier to just close everything off and get a quiet room. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you how many yeah, that... times I've run Odyssey with like her cooking some shit. Like there's sizzling going on, and I'm like, oh, I hope this is gonna be okay. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't know like, the difference, I don't know right? So why these speakers sound like trash, man? Man, I just <laughs> ran calibration. This sounds like cooking. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the opposite of cooking. That's right. <laughs> it's cutting all the cooking frequencies. <laughs> right. I would run uh I would I would run Dirac and then like somebody would slam the door and then it would just say clipping, detect clipping, because it doesn't know, you know, yeah. what right, right, right. you know, so mm-hmm. it just thinks it's too loud. Um to mm-hmm. the answer about the uh level matching, I think your question's kind of uh uh, saying, should you use an SPL, like a separate SPL meter, instead of trusting Odyssey? That's kind of, I know you do that, right, Michael? Mm-hmm. I do. I do. Um, because it's doesn't not, it it's matter hardly, also like it's where hardly it's ever like a, 100% right. Mm-hmm. Are you doing averages too mm-hmm. when you're doing SPL? Because no, I I'm, believe when they're setting the levels, it's an average over a few different, right? It's not a single point. Possibly. I think, I think so, Odyssey but, does just the, single point and then uh it builds the eq off the averages yeah that's what i would expect i would expect oh, okay. that to be the case because otherwise what you know there's no reason for them to worry about delays and all that stuff if you're doing different points mm-hmm. in space oh okay so just uh all right but so uh, direct levels just on the direct space the and then eq okay. yeah direct does the same thing because that's why they tell you to make sure that that first point is the main listening position because that's how all mm-hmm. they're delayed uh <laughs> i can't dude's eating why quit eating dude be a professional. <laughs> hey, would you send me hey, one of those? My middle name. I must say professionals would share, but yeah, they would. I got my bar for later, so we're good. I got nothing, man. I got Cheerios waiting on me when I'm done. You got to come prepared, man. Got to come. Well, prepared. you know, no, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, but okay. <laughs> I, I guess the only maybe caveat to that is I, I just know in talking to so many different people, um, some people choose to. Um, you know, they'll run and they'll level match everything, but then just by preference, they'll bump up their center channel, say three dB or oh. they'll bump up their Atmos speakers. Mm-hmm. A okay. Couple so they're, DB so they're changing their pairs. Correct. Okay. So when you were asking, I, I was thinking more like, you know, are you going to change the left position, but mm-hmm. not change the right, you know, cause that would no, really it, skew the sound stage. Yeah. I could see somebody maybe doing that just because they like it more. Mm-hmm. I could see somebody. Typically, I've heard it with center channels and I've heard it with Atmos because everybody's yeah. like, man, you know, I bought these Atmos speakers and I wish I could hear them at least a little bit more. Right. And so they'll choose to bump them up, you know, a couple dB, three dB. Um, yeah. I mean, of course, you I mean, that, there's don't a two double edged sword with that, too, yeah. because I mean, half the time it's probably just the Atmos mix sucks <laughs> and there's actually nothing up there. So <laughs> exactly. it could be true. They're, they're just turning up more um, noise floor. Yeah, more, more nothing, more nothing, more nothing. Or then yeah. when they you know play something else that has actually mixed correctly, then it's too much. And you're like, what the heck? heck?